Hi guys, I'm so happy to have you back today. Well, tonight, I guess. <laughs> so we are going to be doing some cow breeding. Yay! I know you guys love the breeding videos and it's been a while, so that's what I decided to do today. Um, throughout the video, it is going to be daytime and nighttime. The cycle is on because if we pause it or turn it daytime, it messes up the horse's eating schedules and we don't want to do that. So my goal with my cows is to have the highland, so long hair, no horns, small as they can be, and color I really don't know yet, but I also don't want that weird hump on their shoulder, so I'm hoping to avoid that gene too. So anyway, let's hope for some really cute calves today. I've only bred a couple of generations, so this is almost just the cows that I've found in the wild, except for a select few. So before we get started today, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. All right, let's go take a peek at these cows, see who's expecting and do some breeding. So I've been doing a lot of, well, actually that's a lie, not a lot of breeding with my cows because it's been kind of crazy. Server first opening, we're having some issues and trying to work through them, whatever, all that's boring. But baby cows are not. So <laughs> this is kind of what I have so far. I'm trying to breed only these fluffy, that's not fluffy, these fluffy types of cows. I love the shaggy hair so much. I know they're called Highlands, but that's what I'm going for. And I love this pattern so much so far. Look how cute that is. This cow is currently pregnant. She should be having a baby anytime. This is one of the babies I had. This is an interesting color too. Kind of this grayish cream, I guess. I don't know. But I bred him with her. And it looks like they had, excuse me, this baby. So it looks a lot like mom. And I think I have one over here pregnant possibly, maybe not. Okay, so apparently the only cow I have pregnant right now is this one. <laughs> That's disappointing. I thought I had more. So while we wait for this baby to finish... Let's come over here and check the pigs, because I also have some pregnant pigs. Hey, piggies. Isn't it so cute how they're asleep? Look at him in his little bed. Oh, Yeah, I built these pig pens. And I think they work out really well for the pigs. Because when it rains, they can go in there. And they actually do, too. It's cute. Anyway, this pig has a perfect piggy face. It's the face I'm going for. Super smushed. But I don't like these weird little growths right here. And I want a curly tail and floppy ears. So I bred her with this black male right here. Because he has the perfect floppy ears. And we got some babies with um, the floppy ears like this. But still the straight tail. So I bred this pig who has this super curly tail to introduce some of those genes, but obviously its nose is really long. So that's kind of the genes I'm working with here, trying to get something going. Combo of all those has made this pig. So we've got the smush face, the floppy ears, the start of a curly tail, but still these weird dongles. So I went ahead and bred her with this guy. He has the straight tail and the floppy ears. I don't think he has the dongles. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think he, well, maybe he does. I don't know. But we'll see what kind of piglets she has. She's almost going to give birth too. But I think she's really, really cute. I love the color too. A lot of breeding is just waiting. <laughs> Come on, Miss Cow. Cannot wait to see these guys' baby. Come on, come on, have your baby. Well, I guess while we wait for that calf to be born, let's breed some other cows. I could have swore I bred these guys. Oh yeah, she is pregnant. Okay, good. So we have two calves. So this little guy was actually given to me by Wick, one of our admins. She bred him. And then I'm breeding him with this cow who has the gene and really cool pattern. So I'm hoping that her calf will come out with the long hair, but this pattern and no horns. Oh, she's pregnant too. Okay, I knew I had more pregnant cows. 
let's move her over on this row. Come here. Oh my goodness. Can you not fit? Maybe she can't. Okay. Sorry about that, cow. Come on over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is new to 118 for the genetic animals. Look how cute this is. There's udders. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I love that the cows have udders. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Whoops. I want to tie you down right there. Yeah, when I found that out, I freaked out. It was like, that is so adorable. It makes sense. So maybe this male would be good to breed. Let's bring her, I mean him, around this way, actually. The color is so weird. Like, do I really like it or do I hate it? I'm not sure. Come on, don't be shy. Let's put him over here. And why is he sleeping standing up? You, um, I don't think I'm going to keep this guy either because he's really big and he has horns and he's not fluffy. I don't know. I'll think about it. Oh, everybody's waking up. I gotta find you a girl. She's already pregnant. She's already pregnant. Oh, I like this hippo over here. He's really pretty. I think I'm going to take her over there and they can pair up. Come on in. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Calm down. All right, there you go. So now they will be having a calf. Who else can we pair? Wait, I want to check this one. I cannot wait to see this one. Oh, one more tick to go. We're going to have a calf very soon, guys. Very interested to see what it's going to look like. I don't want this hump on my cows, but I do want the floppy ears. And honestly, I don't know how this guy got the hump. Because none of my other cows have it. Really strange. The genetics are strange. Who am I going to pair you with, Mama? I think I am going to try and pair her with this guy. I don't like the hump, but I'm kind of... Whoops. I'm kind of curious to see if the baby will inherit it or not. All right. That's one more calf we got to wait on. Oh, I think our Mama had the baby. Let's see. Oh, it's a Highland. Oh... It was brown for a minute, and now it's black and white again. Oh, it's super cute, though. Looks just like its mom. Oh, it's so cute. Let's check on this cow. She's getting close. And this cow getting close as well. We're gonna have babies really soon here. This isn't even showing up yet, so a long time to go on this one. This hippo, I do believe, is about time to retire. He is way too big, but he was one of the ones I first started with, so makes sense that he's so, so massive. I want to try and breed this bull again because of his coloration. I want more of the cows to get it. I think... How do I get those spots? It's super cute. Where are your parents? White hippo and tall female fluff. Oh, so white hippo is this big guy. No, that's white hippo one. Oh, I think white hippo... I actually got rid of. Oh, dang. <laughs> that sucks. But where's tall female fluff? Or tall F fluff, I guess. Oh, this might actually be the mom then. Okay, so... What can we breed you with since I got rid of the other bull? <laughs> I guess I was too soon to get rid of him. We could try with him. He might work. Maybe they'll have that good black and white pattern again. What? Oh, you're tied. Okay, it's like, what are you doing? Come with me. 
Okay, we're gonna do these two together. Hope for a highland and hope for no horns. And then to pair him with, I feel like he should be paired with a hippo, but I don't think I have a female available. This is one of my females. And this is one of my females. So I, oh, you know what? I want to pair him with her. That'd be a good pairing. So I'm gonna wait for her to have this calf. I wanna do one more pairing before we just sit and wait. But we know we're gonna pair him with her and we need one more couple right here. So this hippo female could work. We'll do this brindle male. And if you're wondering why I have saddles on them, that is because it prevents them from sleeping. So I can continue to breed them in the nighttime and have their pregnancy progress. I don't know if it will progress when they're sleeping or not, but they will not breed when they're sleeping. So do we have one more pin open in this breeding side? No. Okay, that's okay. So now we wait. Okay, so I was just doing a check and I see a glowy orb right there, which means she gave birth. So let's go see what the baby looks like. Hi, mama. Where's your baby? <gasps> oh! It's not a highland, but that is such a pretty brindle color. I wonder if it's going to stay that color. That's so pretty. Hey, baby. Wake up. Oh, it's so cute. Hi. What are you? You are a female. Okay, so that does suck about the hair. And it looks like it's probably also going to get horns. But I love that color. So pretty. I'll have to wait and see what it looks like as it grows. Let's go check on this other cow. Do you have an orb? Doesn't look like it. Nope, still pregnant. But close. Any time now. I don't remember who I bred her with either, so... I'll just have to see. Check our baby. He is growing up pretty quickly. Hello, baby. I think he may be a hippo, too. Looks exactly like his mama. Oh, I see the orb. I see the orb. Oh, we've got a baby. Oh, that's a really pretty color, too. Oh, wait, that's more of that... Uh, that ta Did I breed that cream cow with this one? I must have. It's the exact same color. Little female. And she looks like she's going to be a hippo. Just no long hair. But I like the color. That's cool. And now we just got to get some long hair on these babies. Good morning, Mama. You had a baby overnight. <laughs> now I want to breed her. You can come along too, baby. Come on. Breed her with this guy. Come on, baby. There we go. They'll be good in there for now, and we can see if she can throw out a baby with that pattern. Okay, time to wait some more. Well, while we wait for the other cow's pregnancies to progress, let's check on the pigs. Because they should be getting pretty close, I think. Well, maybe not. Oh, kind of getting close. And what about you, Miss Dottie? Oh, she's the closest. And her babies are the ones I'm most excited for anyway, so... But she's definitely the best pig I've gotten so far. Let's hope for the best. Let's see a male here. I guess I could breed him and her together. Maybe I should breed this female with this male. Do you have dongles? Yes, I think I should, because it might get rid of the dongles. Here, come over here. Don't go back to sleep. Come here. 
need to get you a saddle. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's kind of rude. Okay, now we can at least expect some more piglets, too. All right, everybody is good, it looks like. How's our calf doing? Get up. Oh, you're so handsome. And this baby is keeping this color, which is awesome. It's a really pretty color. Definitely got some horns, though. But I guess that makes sense. I bred these two hippos together. What other parent? Oh, yeah, I wanted this little female. She's really cute. Let's put her in this pen back here and find her a partner. You are a girl, right? It's a lot harder to tell when they're furry. Or I can look at another cow and can tell right away if it's male or female. But with all that hair, it's really difficult. So we need um, a hippo that is short haired, I believe. Um, oh, you know what? I can use this big guy. Definitely much bigger than I want my cows to be, but gotta just get some of these genetics rolling. You're not going to want a carrot. What am I doing? Okay, should be good. Let's go ahead and check on our pigs. How do you not have babies yet? Oh my gosh. It's been at one tick for so long. Come on, mama pig. Have your babies. Come on, you can do it. Uh, all right, I guess we'll come back in a little bit. Just know as soon as I walk away. All right. Keeping my eye on you. Guess I'll go check on the cows. <sighs> I'm gonna miss it. I know I am. <laughs> That's how these things work. Okay, no new babies. Oh, is this guy all grown? Oh my gosh, he ended up with tiny, tiny little bud buds on his head. <laughs> Is he fully grown yet? Oh my gosh, he's not even fully grown! He's huge! <laughs> oh man! Well, that's kind of a disappointment. Alright, what about you guys? Still a beautiful brindle. Oh, and you're definitely gonna have some pretty big horns, I think. And how is your pregnancy progressing? Barely, alright. I don't think anyone else is close. I'm eh, getting there, kind of. And this little baby. Look at these colors. It's almost like a... Oh, bluish gray and cream? Really interesting. And she is barely progressed as well. Last but not least. Okay, about three more ticks. We've got some more time. Let's go check the pigs again and see if this has happened yet. It doesn't look like it. What is your deal? All right, I will be back in a little bit. Back to watching Netflix while we wait for you to give birth. <laughs> Promise you this pig has it out for me. I don't know what her deal is. It's been on one tick for so long. Not these guys. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to jump on your back there when you're trying to sleep. Barely progressed and mm, two ticks away. Ah, my goodness. Hurry up. That's it. I am not leaving until your piglets come out. Oh my gosh, it only took like 30 more seconds. Okay, let's see these piglets. They're all in a jumble. Wake up, babies. Come on. Okay, so they all took after dad in color. It seems like that color is very, very dominant. Can't really tell what their traits are. It's so dark. How many are there? It's like a never ending pile of piglets. Hi, babies. This one has dongles. I can already see it. What is that one? And they have straight tails. We've got the cute ears. Looks to be about it, though. 
so some time has passed. Let's take a look at these babies. Now they're a little bit bigger. Wake up, piggy. Super cute floppy ears, but they still have the dongles. And they're, I really don't want pure black pigs either. I would prefer patterns. Actually, the color I want is the same color as um, my pig on 116. It's kind of a grayish with a white belly band. It's super cute. Oh my gosh. They all look exactly the same. What do I even do with this? And I think they're all female. Unless they're just not grown yet. Straight tails. Gross dongles. What a disappointing litter. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sort through these guys. And it looks like nobody else has had any babies yet. Let's check on the cows again. And it looks like this little calf getting bigger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this calf turned out huge. Wow, what a monster. And he's fully grown now. He's just got little nubby horns. I thought they were going to be a lot bigger, to be honest. But yeah, he is a big boy. Anybody else have a baby? And you are just huge too. Oh, here's our brindle baby. This is the one I thought was going to have really big horns, huh? Not the other one. But she is fully grown. Her horns aren't horribly big. And she's got that nice coloration and she's pretty small. So overall, I think she would be really good to pair with probably another furry hippo cow. Um, not this massive boy though, my goodness. Maybe we should try this boy. And are you going to give birth soon? Oh my gosh. I think my only small hippo is her dad. <laughs> but that just feels wrong. So I think I am going to go ahead and pair her with this black and white cow. Because he's my favorite at the moment. I've replaced more of these. Oh, okay, you're just leaving. All right. We're going to pair these two up together. If we could get this cow type pattern with the brindle, that'd be cute too. I mean, he really is my favorite so far. He's super cute, and I'm really disappointed in myself for getting rid of his dad. <laughs> I should not have done that. Oh, regretting my decisions. His little horns are funny. So he would be a decent pairing with. Another horned cow, I think? Is this female still pregnant? Yes. He might be good with her, I'm thinking. And I want to breed her again, too. The so her with another fluffy male. Maybe this big boy. I don't really want big cows, but <laughs> he's got this pattern that might give a nice baby. So let's just breed these two. Okay. Is this baby grown? Oh my gosh, she is. She's really small. That's good. Okay, so she needs a partner. We want to get a horned, small male and fluffy. Uh, who do I have? Who do I have? You know what? Those horns are cool. They're almost like a longhorn style. It looks like he may be my only option. Unless I breed her with him. That's actually a good idea. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to breed these two together. And I know my handling of the cows are kind of rough, but don't worry. They cannot get hurt unless it's with an axe. So they will be perfectly fine. Now this is a baby I'm excited for. Now I just got to wait for another hour. <laughs> but I am excited for this one, definitely. Since I made the mistake of getting rid of that apparently pretty good bull, because he gave me my favorite pattern, <laughs> I don't know who to keep and who to not. So I'm going to wait on it for a little bit, because I want to make sure. Are some of these hairs not as long as the others? Is that a thing? Because I can see his eyes, right? Is not his eyes? Oh gosh, I don't know. I think it's true. Some of the hair is longer. I don't know. Okay, now the waiting game again. 
So apparently I waited a little bit too long. We had a few babies while I was gone. We had this little one. So this is the one I was hoping for floppy ears and no hump, and it went the opposite. That weird coloration again. This baby I will most likely not be keeping because it has the small ears, the hump, and it's gonna have horns. So we will not be breeding you two again for sure. Now we've got these two still waiting. Oh, and then this baby was born. Looks like it's probably going to be a hippo or very, very small horns. It is a female and that was mom right there. But again, not happy with this outcome. Just not having any luck. And then this one horns again. No long hair. It's just really, really bad luck breeding, guys. It looks like someone might be selling some floppy-eared cows. But it looks like a lot of people are interested. <laughs> we'll see if there's enough for me to maybe snag one. We'll go over there and see. So that one has no hump. Has This one has a little hump. Okay, so we were able to purchase this cow. It does have a very, very small hump, but I think we can live with it. And it looks like everyone else has the same idea. We want the floppy ears, we just don't want the hump. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of the floppy-eared cows just naturally come that way, so... So now that we have this new girl, we should try and breed her with a floof cow. We are definitely going to be getting rid of big old hump guy over there. <laughs> so you need to go. I am so sorry, but just not my cup of tea. But your ears are cute. So who are we going to pair her with now? Where'd she go? Oh, she's over here. Who are we going to pair you with? These two seem to like each other. <laughs> We'll stick this little baby in with mama. Whoop, <laughs> that was a little rough. Sorry there, guy. And we'll put our new girl, this floppy ear, in here. So how are we going to do this? I want to breed him again. I know I keep breeding him with everybody, but he's my favorite. He's so cute. I'm just not making good pairings, apparently, because all of my babies are not <laughs> turning out the way I want. So it's been quite a while since I actually did this breeding video. I think maybe four or five weeks have gone by, <laughs> but I needed to wrap it up. So I wanted to check on the cows that I bred and see what we got, because I really don't even know. So somehow my floppy-eared female ended up out here. I, in the video footage I looked at, she was over there. So no clue, but she's no longer bred. Um, unfortunately, unless maybe that guy's her baby? I, I don't know. I'm confused. So anyway, not going to be able to see her offspring in this video, unfortunately. But we do have some other ones that have been born. And because these chunks weren't loaded, they just had them or they're still pregnant. <laughs> so that's funny. So in this pen right here... Okay, she is no longer pregnant over here. This guy was just born. Oh, look at him or her. I don't even know. Ah, stupid gate. Whoa, this is a cool looking cow. It's a little girl. I have not seen one this color with the Highland hair yet. So that's really exciting. And it actually looks like she's not going to have horns either. Well, that's awesome. Good. I'm really excited to see how she grows up. That's an interesting color. Okay, so that's one win. Oh, we got a baby here. Aww. It's a little girl. Looks just like mom. And not a Highland. She's cute. Okay. Next one. This is that baby. Is it grown? Maybe. Oh yeah, 25 years old. <laughs> I would say she's grown. Okay, 
So let's move on to this pin. Oh, ooh, it's another Highland. And a Brindle. Oh, yay. What are you? You are a boy. <gasps> okay, so that means we've got this boy and this girl. I think they're going to make a cute pairing. I'm so happy. At the end of the other footage, I was just like, man, I'm not doing this very well. All my babies are not great, but hey, these ones turned out. So I'm glad I was able to get back in here and see them to wrap up the video. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you want to see more breeding videos, please let me know and I will try to schedule them in. <laughs> Look at this baby staring at me. As always, I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, bye guys.